Hello and welcome to Fit to Box channel, the fastest growing boxing equipment review channel on YouTube. Uh, today I wanted to bring this to you, which is a training device uh, that I've seen a couple of three professional boxers using. I wanted to sort of try one and I wanted to bring that review to you. So here it is. So a little while ago I saw a video of Sergei Kovalev and he was using one of these devices. Um, which is a headband with a piece of elastic and a, a tennis ball attached to the end. And uh, I watched this video and I was hugely impressed um, by how he was doing it. It was really, really good. Uh, and since then I've seen Lomachenko and Sean Porter both use similar devices to this. Uh, the ones that they used were uh, the tennis ball and the elastic, but the actual, uh, this end wasn't attached to a headband, it was attached to the back of a cap. So the plastic uh, bit at the back of a cap that you were uh, actually fasten it with, the boxer wore it round the wrong way, so it was, um, the clasp was at the front, and then obviously the front of the elastic was there, and did exactly the same as what this does. So this is actually called the Psycho Motor head speed ball. Uh, I actually got this one from www.thecornerman.net. Now uh, that actual uh, place uh, is a new boxing shop uh, which is in Dordan in North Warwickshire uh, just off the A5 near Tamworth so that's, that's in England. So that's www.thecornerman.net new boxing shop and they have on sale this particular device. Okay, so it consists of, as you can see, a headband, black headband there, and then you've got a cord, a stretchy cord there, and attached to that you've got a white tennis ball there. Okay, and when I first saw this I couldn't really figure out uh, what this red adjustable cord was for because I put the headband on, it fit me fine and that was, that was great and then I had just this which I had to sort of tuck away. And um, I've since sort of found out what that is for and uh, the, I actually tried it, my, my daughter wanted to have a go with this after I'd had a go and when I put this on her head uh, this was too big for her and so what I did was I was able to use the cord like that, it goes around the back there, and you adjust it to the person's head, and then it keeps the headband in place. Um, without that there, which as I say, I thought was irrelevant to start off with, but if you've got a smaller head, without that red cord, this simply falls down over your eyes. So actually, that's quite a vital part for some people. For myself, as I say, my head was big enough size to be able for the headband to be tight enough, and I just simply took that round, so that wasn't a problem. Okay, on there you can see you've got that little uh, adjustable clip there, so whatever the size head that needs to be adjusted to, you have got that variance there, so that is great. Okay, so, head mounted speed ball, that's what it is. Uh, it's a bit of a speed ball sort of shadow shadow boxing together in one. Um, sharpens the accuracy of your punches. Improves reactions as you respond to the movement of the ball. Um, conditions the arms and the shoulders. Uh, and improves shoulder and arm stamina. It also improves uh, your hand-eye coordination. As the ball is going out and you're punching it, you can actually see uh, that this really does sharpen you up. In terms of putting it on, very easy to fit. Uh, very portable as well, as you can see. You can just put that in your bag, no problem at all. And if you're working away, you could easily uh, do this in a hotel room, no problem. Um, the neighbours might wonder what's going on with the uh, consistent banging, uh, but uh, at the end of the day you're practising your boxing. So uh, it would be an excellent device to sort of use in your training, whether you're at the gym or whether you are sort of out and about. Even on holiday you could, could use this. So um, you can do it with your bare hands, you can do it with your actual uh, wraps on, or I used it with gloves and preferred it with gloves. Um, do prefer to use it with gloves, maybe it's because it's a bit easier. Uh, when you watch Lomachenko and uh, Kovalev, they're actually using it without gloves on.
So the actual cost of this one is £25. Um, as I say, it took a little bit of getting used to. Um, it's great for eye coordination along with hand eye coordination. Um, it's a brilliant shoulder workout as well. Uh, as you're sort of getting used to it at first, um, it's a bit like when you, you're in front of a, a platform speedball. You don't just walk up and, and start doing it. With this is the same. It takes you a little while. But once you've got sort of where the ball's going to be, you soon get into it. One thing I would say is that is an actual tennis ball. And if that goes out and you miss your punch and it hits you in the face, it is going to hurt in the same way as an actual tennis ball hitting you in the face. So I would, con I would say to you, wear your gum shield while you are doing this because this does go out and sometimes if you misjudge it it will hit you in the face. First time I used it I hit it I was using it and then suddenly it come up and it hit me in the mouth and from that point on I did use a gum shield which uh, obviously protects your teeth. Um, so uh, but that just keeps you a bit sharp you can move your head obviously as well move your hands uh, but the gum shield being in just protects uh, if that's, that tennis ball does come back a little bit sharpish. Now I have actually got some footage um, of it and me using it. And before anybody out there starts to comment to say that I'm not as good as Kovalev or Lomachenko, just to tell you, I never expect it to be. Uh, but in terms of sort of your, your, your decent boxer, this is a great training aid that you can get used to and you can use and you would become very, very good with this device over time. Um, I also found it very enjoyable and also the next day I found out that it was a, a really great shoulder and arm workout and I certainly did feel um, that sort of in my arms and my shoulders and my arms and shoulders are well conditioned to doing round after round after round but because it is so enjoyable what happens is you tend to do it for quite a while and you lose track of time and then before you know it uh, you've, you have been doing it for a considerable amount of time. I sort of used it like I used to do when uh, from a counting point of view I used it like when I used to do keepy uppies as a kid. Uh, I'd first try for five hits of it then I'd try for ten then I went for 15 and before you know it I was really racking up the numbers on a consistent basis and so my improvement I could actually track my improvement at using the device so you'll soon get the hang of it and as I say it is a great portable training tool so here's the footage for you to have a look at hope you enjoy So yeah, that was the footage of me. I hope you enjoyed it. So let's just bring this round for one final time so you can see all the aspects of the actual device. There is the headband. There is how it is attached by that little, little bit there. And then as you can see, as I turn that over, you can see where that red cable is there as well. And there's the headband. And there you have got that cord as well which you can adjust. So there you go. So what a great piece of kit. Uh, I would fully recommend it. Um, I'm going to use this personally but also I'll be using this in any sort of one-to-ones that I do uh, with sort of boxes that are looking to improve. Uh, it really does help hand and eye coordination so for that reason it's a definite plus when it comes to being included in your boxing training so definitely worth a look uh, check it out as I say I got this one from www.thecornerman.net and it was £25 and um, so uh, I will continue to use this device going forward I'm very very pleased with it and uh, to see if I can get as good as uh, Kovalev and Lomachenko. So thanks ever so much for watching. Please like and subscribe to the channel and I will continue to, to sort of keep watching out for different things that are happening in the boxing world and if I do see a video of somebody, a professional boxer or even an amateur that is using a device and I think to myself you know what the channel, the viewers would love to be able to see that 
then I will seek it out, and that's what I've done with this. So uh, thanks ever so much. I shall speak to you soon.